So if Hub comes with all of these things, Hub Basic really comes with the sites and data sharing capabilities. And the good news is that Hub, the basic license of Hub, ArcGIS Hub, comes with ArcGIS Online. So many of you already have this ability. And this allows you to make websites and pages and share your data um, either openly with the public or keep it private to your organization. We have thousands of organizations who have been doing this and they are making incredible websites. Um, it's really exciting to see what people are doing. And we've noticed some patterns that we just want to highlight to maybe get you thinking about what you might want to do. So one of the common ways people use sites is to share catalogs of data. And they do this often as open data. And it's easy to do this and to create your own data catalogs so people can, or categories, so that people can easily find um, what they're looking for. And what's great about this is that you can take data from across departments, across agencies, and bring it together in one holistic view. And it's great for not only the public to find content, but also staff. Uh, we find that these sites are helpful for even internal members to be able to find the content they need. Another pattern we see are what I've tagged as kind of gallery sites, where you're using a site to surface the applications that you've already created, but you just need to share them in a really beautiful, engaging way. So whether they're story maps or dashboards or what have you, you can get those out to the people who need to see them and make it fun to explore those. Another thing we see is kind of narrative sites or, or some storytelling sites that give more context to the data. So you might be putting data out, but maybe it helps to, to explain what this data is about, why it's important to collect, um, how you, others can use it, or just convey what your department is doing um, or your organization is trying to achieve. So that those are very engaging. And then people are going even further with using sites to encourage action. And this is kind of a really exciting evolution. They're wanting people to, uh, you know, to, to participate. They, they're trying to engage the broader community. It's not just about staff and what we're doing, but here's what you can do um, outside of our organization. Please do these things, like either sign up for something or take a pledge or register. And you can start to encourage action with the basic level of the product, but you'll see as we go along that having the premium level of ArcGIS Hub really helps you do this um, more deeply and in a much more effective way. So that's a little bit of a cliffhanger for later. Um, and then another thing we're seeing is this uh, notion of performance where people are using Hub to, to, to relay what they're doing for performance management. Like how are their departments performing or how are the key initiatives they've taken on going? Um, are they meeting their milestones? Uh, or are, and then another thing they're doing is sharing like performance in terms of financial performance. You know, how, where's the money going? How are we performing? Um, so re really being transparent and engaging the community so that trust is built. What all of these sites have in common is that they tend to be bridging this gap that we've, we've noticed where Usually there's some sort of executive messaging or overall goal of the um, organization that you're trying to achieve, and that's usually put on a website somewhere. And then also in the organization, there's this wonderful GIS content. Um, what the site does is really you know, bring those two worlds together and allow the GIS content to support the data-driven de decisions and the executive messaging and show how data is serving um, what people are trying to do in your organizations. Thank you.